How's it going guys? Welcome to Millennial Gamer. I'm your host James. Welcome back to Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1. Man, it's been so fun playing this game, honestly, and we've done so well in it. We've got all the Pizza Planet tokens from all the places. As far as I'm aware, unless there's anything hidden, you let me know. But we got all of Andy's house, all of Andy's neighborhood, all of the construction yard, alleys and gullies, which we had to go back to to get. Um, Al's Toy Barn, Al's Spaceland. We did Elevator Hop, which was a frustrating and difficult one. Uh, Al's Penthouse, which we did in like one go, I think. And then uh, we defeat. Last time we defeated Evil Emperor Zerg. Oh no, we didn't do that last time. Last time we did Airport Infiltration. We finished that off. And now we've got Tarmac Trouble. Now I'm pretty sure this is the last level. I said that in the last one, do you remember? Um, me no smart good. But anyway, let's get into Tarmac Trouble. I'm probably going to be trying... If this is the last level, I'm going to be going right through to the end here. So let's... Let's do this! Jesse! I know we watched this in the last episode, but... I'm watching it again. Come on, Buzz! Come on, Buzz! Ride like the wind, bullseye! Hey, howdy, hey! Hey, howdy, hey! Okay, tarmac trouble. Now, what can I remember about this level? Literally nothing. So, we're going into this totally blind. I'm legally blind! Nope. Let's take him out and collect the coins. Now, you can get on the big plane. I think that's one of the things we want to do. Let's start that right. So this whole area is so vast. No it's kind of intimidating. In a way. But we do eventually want to get onto the plane. I'm pretty sure. So let's take out who we can here. Especially these annoying guys who have been hitting me every chance they get. I don't even know... Um, what health are on here? Are you an enemy? No. You're a piece of luggage. I need to collect you. It looks like it's a face. Can you see that? I've moved my head out of the way. Kinda looks like a face. Right. What a bird. But having more open area like this does allow me to, uh... See the enemies a lot clearer. A lot quicker. Right, that looks like slime. Oh, that was slime. Right, we know Ham is right in the corner here. Look, I've got seven of your coins. We're good. I forgot to check how much health we're on. How do we check? I guess I guess we'll know as soon as I get hit, which is probably going to be soon because... Oh, my God, I suck. They have put a lot of speed shoes around the way, which I can see, which is, uh, which is good. Allows us to navigate this quick. Not that I'm making use of them. Well, right, give me that. So we're obviously looking for suitcases for someone. Let's use this. Zip to the other side. Break on through to the other side. I do want to take out the enemies because it's just... Gives me the coins, you see. Let's be good at this game for once. That'd be cool, right? Look at that! I'm proficient in shooting enemies. We've got 15 coins already. I need to remember that Ham's right in the corner. Right. I haven't seen a way to get up yet. Do you know what I mean? There's been no up. Get shot, you. There's another coin. And another one. So we know we're collecting bags, we know we're collecting coins. There's a bag up there, look. Do you see him? Hopping about. Do I need to use the plane to get up there? I think I might do. I think that's what the plane acts like. It acts like as an, like an anchor point to be able to get around this place. Man, the music's awesome though. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, Red Faction, which I've played on the channel. You should check that out. That was actually one of the first uh, playthroughs that I ever did on the channel. But yeah, the music reminds me of Red Faction a lot. 
Now it's disappeared. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't remember what part of Red Faction it reminds me of. Another coin. Another day, another dollar. Yeah, we're going to need to use the plane to get up everywhere here. Because I can't even get up there, look. So how do I get up? Have I just gone, like, the longest way you could possibly go? Right, shooting you. There you go. Trick is not to get too close. I haven't even found Rex yet. I've literally found nothing. Right, watch out for the slime. Where's this slime even come from? Well, right, I do want to take out these enemies, so... Let's get rid of this. See, we're halfway on the coins nearly already. Again, are they real birds? Toy birds? What's going on? That's a laser. Hey, a laser! Okay. I want to know how to get onto the plane, though. That's a thing I'd like to do. There you go. So, with the green laser, is the green laser as strong as, like, holding the button down? Is that what it is? Is that the incremental strength? Still not seeing a way up here. Oh, this looks promising. Maybe not. Hello, mate. Do you want to, um... Do you want to come a bit closer there? Oh, that hurt me. Oh, I guess I know how much health I've got now, though. Oh, this is promising. We're going up. There's Rex. Okay. I think I saw Ham in Zone 5. Okay, we've already seen Ham. The airport little tyke has lost his luggage. He is in zone three. Okay. Okay, Slinky has a challenge for you. He's in the middle of the airport next to the central pole. By the way, you can jump on the plane from the central pole. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, there is a token being carried by the helicopter. Signal the helicopter to land by solving the light puzzle in zone one. You can use the zip line at the end of this trolley to reach the puzzle area. Okay. The blacksmith's boss is the blacksmith's boss is on the roof of the building in zone seven. He is near the radar tower. Try and reach it by running down the wings of the plane. Well, I think I saw okay, and he's just recycling. How do I how do I get up this, then? Is there a way to... He said it's at the end of this trolley. Well, I see the helicopter there, look. Right, mate. So, how do I... I, 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 I want to get up. That doesn't help. Look, they said that we can get on top of the plane via the central pole. So, let's do that. Give me that. Give me that coin there as well. Okay. I think we've nearly done a whole lap here. Either way, we've got 34 coins already. Might just try and make sure to do ham first. They're going ham. Oh, there's the tykes. You want your luggage. Yeah, there you go. Right, I found you. This is unusual compared to the rest of the game, because it's so... A lot of the game is in, like, enclosed spaces. But this is just this big, vast area. 37, 38. I don't know how long this level's going to take. It seems like it's going to take me forever, just because of how awful I am. Right. Okay, yeah, we've done a lap. We've officially done a lap. Let's head to the center. Yeah, there's the pole, see? There's the pole, see? There's probably more coins knocking around more towards the centre here. Are those just lights? They kind of look like lava pits. 
Will I die if I hit the plane? Will the plane squish me? Okay, 43. We're nearly done. We've nearly got, an, we've nearly got our first um, token here. Can I remember where Ham is now? Can I, Eck? I wish I could instantly rewind these videos and find out. Or should I just try and memorize? <laughs> 46. That'd be 47. She's taking out the enemies with extreme prejudice. Oh, that's health. Nice. Well, we actually just need one more coin and we're good. Uh, I've probably taken you out already. You will be my last coin. Yes. Right, now we can get ham. Well, there's the helicopter, so we've... What do we need to do? We need to come back on ourselves quite a bit. I know he was in one of the corners. Let's just try and absolutely zoom. If we can. Because he was in one of the corners. Not this corner. Oh, he was far away from... Was he? Hmm. I'll meet you when we get to Ham. Ah, I found you! I nearly zoomed right into you then. There you go, that's our last ham, right? Because this is the last level. Sorry, I got an itchy arm. I'm scratching it on the chair. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, Pete's Planet token number one. That's only taking us 13 minutes. Great. Right, keep on playing. Let us head to the suits. Not get burnt on the acid. Uh, let's head to the center. Let's try and get on the plane. I can't remember anything that Rex said. Mostly because I'm an idiot. Right, we don't need to collect coins now. We also don't need to take out enemies unless we absolutely have to. So that makes me feel good. Let's get this Speedy Gonzalez thing. Some health there if we need. Oh, God. There's acid everywhere. Where's Heya Buzz? I heard you. Aha. Okay. Hi, Buzz. If you can reach the end of this path without jumping or touching the green slime, I will give you a Pizza Planet token. Is it timed? God, the camera is going to try and kill me. Never mind the green slime. Right, we're not allowed to jump, so I'm moving my me, me hand in a strategic way that stops me from even attempting to press the button, because I might press it, like, by accident. We're doing well. How long is this thing? Giggity. Okay. Let's readjust the camera here. Oh, I nearly touched the slime. I bet we went far off. Right. Attempt number two. Howdy, Bob. Howdy. Right, we can do this. Come on. Oh, that pole was in the way then. Damn you, pole. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, I'm getting reckless. Like a barbarian in Dungeons and Dragons. I'm going reckless. I'm not even turning the camera. What am I even doing with my life right now? Oh, I wish I could do that with the camera. Just have it pan up like that. That was lovely. Oh, look at that. Okay. Look at the intensity on my face. 20-something seconds. Ah, oh, son of a... I think that's that same corner. I think I might hit the same co- uh, Did I? Or did I get further? I'm going to say that I got further for my own self-esteem. That's what I'm going to do. Right. Howdy, Bob, howdy. Still recording. We're still good. Right, first thing I need to do is not be terrible. I wish I could pan the camera out just a little bit. Oh, Buzz, what are you doing? You're trying to break dance at me. I have an itchy face. I'm going to ignore it. 
I have an itchy face and I'm going to ignore it. Killer of video game characters everywhere. Play who? Play your itchy face. Oh! There's the itch. Thing is, every time I lose, I'm losing health. <sighs> right. No, 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 no. I'm not having it. Not having it. This is happening. I wish I could just readjust the camera. Because it starts me on the same camera angle every time. Right, let's 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 actually try and turn the camera here to try and get some better vantage point. I always say on these things, you have got longer than you think you have. I don't know how true that is. Obviously, we're not allowed to jump. I was thinking about jumping that then, which is uh, stupid. Did I not read the rules? I think it's got to be quick. I can't really stop. Oh, I didn't even see the slime on that side. Man, my face has got so itchy in two different places. Okay, let's turn the camera. I nearly touched that corner. How are we doing? 20 something seconds. Are we nearly done here? Come on. We are. Yes! Oh my god. It's your face. And there, look. There. And there. Oh. Did it though. Did it. Keep on playing. Hell yeah. Where's that health? <laughs> um, I do believe it was this way. I want to get that health. And then we want to climb the pole. Ow! Because we're halfway here. It was on the outside somewhere. Where's the health? Right, I'm all healthed up, but I still got hit by the green slime because I'm an idiot. I hate that the, the, the health doesn't refill your thing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're climbing up. This is how we just get to the plane, right? We just jump on the wing. A wing and a prayer. Is there anything at the top of here? Nope. What am I doing? Grab onto the thing. That's so finicky. Come on. There you go. Right. It's. It looks like it's a fair old distance. I'm going to have to climb quite high to... There you go. Did it. We're on the plane. I'm on a plane. Ooh. It's not even my favorite Nirvana song. By the way, that's, that's a Nirvana song. Oh, the jumping. The jumping is floaty. See how the plane moves beneath Buzz? Okay, I saw some luggage here. I gotcha, that's two. Right, we can use the plane now to get to other areas of this uh, map. Oh. Right, where first? Okay, there's the helicopter bit, but we can't get to that, can we, without... Okay, I think we're coming up to a bit where we can actually get to that, then. Oh, there's a luggage in there. Very nice. That's three now. What is the camera doing? And I've fallen to the floor. Oh, amazing. Right, um... How do we get to the helicopter? It said I can get to it through the end of this um, thing, didn't it? Can I climb these? I can! Oh! I wish I'd have known that. They'd just automatically done this. Oh, God. Use the button to change the bottom row of lights to match the top row of lights. The puzzle will reset... If you take more than three tries, complete the puzzle, the helicopter will move down so you can reach the Pizza Planet token. Okay. Right. Oh, 
We so we need to to match the top row of lights. Okay, now we need to turn off the red. No time to lose. Ah, okay. Oh god. This is going to hurt my brain. So now we need the two So we need to turn red What we need to do is green needs to turn off. How do we turn green off? Then we need to turn blue off. Hmm. Right, let me think logically. Let me think logically. And that's not going to do it. No. Okay, so we just need to turn off red. Oh, hang on. That does that. Now we just need to turn on blue. Yes, there you go. Got it. Got it. I was trying to stop and think about what I was doing. Boom. We did it. Right, we can get up here. Thank God. I thought I was going to have to try my, try my way to get up there. This will be our third Pizza Planet token, you know. Right, I don't know why I'm collecting coins. I don't need to do that. Give me that helicopter Pizza Planet token. Hell yeah. Keep on playing. Is there any luggage around here? We only need to collect two more of them. And we're golden. Okay, again, the music's so cool. Right, let's start from the beginning again. Let's, um... Let's get to the center and let's get back on top of the plane. Roro, back on the plane. Oh, God, this is so dangerous. Whoa, this is so dangerous. Come in, Star Command. Can you help me out here? Help a brother out? Help a buzz out? Right. Now where? We're right at the end. It feels like we're flying here. Oh, there's a luggage on top of here. Oh! He didn't jump. He didn't jump. Right, we're back. Come on now. Back at it. Right back at it again. Do you know that song? Days to Remember. Ray Band. There you go. I'm a collect you. I'm a con collect. Oh, that was an extra life. That's nice. Always welcome. Right, um, back to the center, I guess. Oh, there is a speed shoe. That's going to help a lot. Right, we're back on the edge of the wing here. There's something on the wing. Some thing. This looks like a radio tower. This looks like somewhere we want to be. Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to make that then. Yeah, you look like a boss. Right, let's do this. Right, I was searching around for health. I might get this, because it's not even going to top us up all the way anyway. So, I'm, I'm going to get that. Right. Okay. <laughs> Defeat the blacksmith boss to get a pizza planet token. Luckily, we do have... Oh, is he one of those? Is he where I've got to... Oh, I've got to do that. Damn, I thought I was... Okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Wait for him to bust this thing out. Man, that stuff moves quickly. Do I just need to outrun it? Oh dear me! Oh! Oh God! I'm just getting hurt. Just getting hurt. Why do I suck? Oh God! Right, he's pretty low. Oh, I put the hurt on him. Come on, man! I'm low on health here. This is not great. What on earth? Just hit him. There you go. Why was that so difficult? It only took me a second. Okay, Pizza Planet token. 
that I believe is our third one. Right? Yeah, we did ham. We've done slinky. We found the helicopter. No, ham, slinky, helicopter. Um, ham, slinky, helicopter. That hammer boss that we literally just defeated. Mm, we just need to find the last bit of luggage and we're done here. So where are you, luggage? Where are you? Can I see if his body still hurt you? Now, do you know what? Could be nice. Some health. That'd be amazing. Right, we're back on the plane. What I'm going to do is get to the wing and see what there is left to get because I've probably missed an area I can actually still get to. Oh, it feels so weird when you jump and the plane goo, continues beneath you. Okay, it's so cool when you get to the end and you're like flying now. This is the quickest way to get around. It's the only way to get around. Okay. It's got to be a place we've missed. Oh, I'm flying, I'm getting to the end there. I'm sliding off. Where's this last critter's luggage? There it is. Get back here, you. You pesky luggage. Where were you, though? That is the question. Right, let's zoom around and let's find them, because that's the last one. Right, so I just zoomed into two bits of acid on the floor, and I'm nearly dead. Right, the airport little tyke has lost his carriage. He's in zone three. That's all I wanted. Hey, Buzz, need a hint? God. Right. We want to go to zone three. Zone three is literally this way. Let's do this. One more speedy thing. Good luck. Not hitting you. Oh, you went right into my... What I need. There you are. Zoomed right into you. Sliding into your DMs. Thanks for finding the luggage, Buzz. Here's a Pizza Planet token. Boss. Boom. Exit level. And beyond! There's not like a Pizza Planet token for collecting 100 coins in a level, is there? Is there? That wouldn't make for a very interesting video. Okay, yes, of course I want to save. Congratulations, you've collected all 50 tokens! Yes! Boom! Jesse, let go of the plane! What are you crazy? Just pretend it's the final episode of Woody's Roundup! But it was cancelled! We never saw if you made it! Well then let's find out together! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. There he is, running as fast as a plane. We did it! Hell yeah! Is that it? Is there no final boss? Well, I think there is. The final showdown. We got all 50 Pizza Planet tokens. I'm so happy. So happy. Right, the final show. It's the final showdown. Let's do this. It is with the prospect of our looks of it. And an anvil man. Right. What do we need to do here? Oh, I see, um... Is that Buzz and Jesse? A uh, Buzz and Jesse. Is that Woody and Jesse? Right, we're on the inside of the plane here. Okay. Ooh! Get him, boys. Oh, God. Right. Ooh! I am definitely going to lose... Um, if I can just take one out, that'd be good. If I focus on one. Ooh! I just focus just on you. Because the anvil guy was the one that nearly killed me last time. Right. 
Okay, okay. I don't even know where he's gone now. I'm sliding. Where was the other one? Where's he gone? If I can just take you out. Uh, you see I'm focusing on um, the cowboy dude. I don't know where the uh, the hammer got. Oh, there he is. I saw him. Oh, come on, camera. Come on. <laughs> Sounds like Arnie. Ow, I got hit straight away. That's one down. If I can take him out now. Okay. Ow! Play with this, you, you, toy. Play with this, you, you, you toy! Okay. Play with this, you. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose a life just giving these guys a kiss. Okay. This is where this is where I can afford to lose the lives though. This is okay. Ow! Ooh. Come on. Gotta take him out. He's the he's the big one. Is there any health? Do you not give me any health? Okay. Sorry if I went silent. Oh god. Come on! That's what- that's it, that's it, that's it! We're good to go! That's no way to treat a collection. No way to treat a collection. <laughs> Sound like Arnie again. Ow! Don't put me right in front of him! You toy! I'm just getting hit! Look, this is where I can afford to get hit, it's fine. Ah! Oh! If I'm gonna get hit, I might as well try and hit him. Worthless space, Worthless space toy! Enough. Ooh! Come on! Ow. Nearly there! Stop. Yes! Sorry, lads. <laughs> it looks terrifying. <laughs> Boss defeated. Here it is, our last bonus movie. Well, Stinky Pete, I think it's time you learned the true meaning of playtime. Right over there, guys! No! 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 I kind of feel for him in a way. If you watch the movie, you know. You've seen this movie before. Game one. I like seeing that. Game one. Oh, Bullseye! We're part of a family again! Oh, <laughs> Danny? Who's Danny? There you go. Uh, Ma'am, ma I, uh, um, <clears throat> well, I just want to say you're a bright young woman with a beautiful yarn full of hair. A hair full of yarn. It's, uh, oh, um, <clears throat> I must go. Well, aren't you the sweetest face toy I ever met? Oh. What's that? Bark, bark? Bark, 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 bark. This fella says he needs to go out back for a little private time. That critter needs help. A critter needs help! <laughs> and Jesse's awesome. <laughs> That's not a euphemism for anything. You stop it. There you go. Congratulations. You have completed Toy Story 2. Hell yes! Right? This is the part where I put down the controller. What a game. What a game! Still holds up as an absolute classic from this era. No wonder it's held in such high regard. Like, there's no time in this whole playthrough where I felt like I haven't wanted to play it. All I've wanted to do is come back and play it because it's been so fun. Legendary, this game. Um, for a time, tie-in games were seen as just like, like shovelware, like cash grab. Like, if there was a movie that came out of it, 
then a game came straight after. It was like the Shark Tale game, and then the Cars game, and then, you know, the Mega Mind game, which came after the PS3, which is just, you know, awful. But for a while, some tie-in games were pretty good. And this is definitely up there as one of the best tie-in games. Uh, there's a Chronicle of Chronicles of Riddick game, which is also a very, very good game. Um, something... Escape from Butcher Bay, I think that's what it's called. Uh, PS3, you should play it, it's very good. Um, Spider-Man 2 for the GameCube and the PlayStation 2. Excellent game. That's You like your swinging in your new Spider-Man games? You should play that. But this one, I think, holds up so well as a tie-in game. Not just that as a game in its own right. I think um, in terms of level design, it's so clever and fun and intuitive. It's like when you first look at a level, it's like it doesn't look like any of it can be traversed. It just looks like a normal living room or a normal office. And then when you start poking around and jumping on things, you realize that they've made it that way. And then you can traverse it using just what you see in the room. There's no like... Okay, some of the, the, the swinging bits are a little bit shoehorned in. But still, I think the level design is so good. Char Buzz's character design is really good as long as you don't look at the face. <laughs> in fact, all characters are really good as long as you don't look at the face. Um, man, there's a lot of trademarks here. Mr. Potato Head, Slinky Dog, Toddle Toys. Oh, the little tykes. Yeah. Um, I really like the way it's laid out. I'm a big fan of games where um, you have like a sort of small um, hub world or a small hub area and you go around collecting things. The, the, you know, the um, the Super Mario 64 model where you go around and you, you do the things within that small world until you collect everything you can. I've played Super Mario 64 on the channel. You should check it out. Um... I really like this the way that this guy this 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 guy this game has done it and I do like that you can go and speak to Rex and he can give you the rundown of what's in the level I think that's really smart really smart especially for that last one where you're going around the tarmac that's you can easily get sort of um, overwhelmed by that um, favorite level do I have a favorite level let me think um, Andy's house is so iconic and it's a great introduction to the game. It's one that I've played twice on the channel now because I played the demo of this for um, the PlayStation Magazine demo. I'll probably leave a link in that description or at the end of this video if you want to check that out. Uh, that's what made me want to play this playthrough. Um, let me think. There's, a, there's loads of good ones. Um, Andy's Neighborhood. Um, the Elevator Level. Whoa, that's a... Oh, that is an exercise in frustration, just falling all the way down, having not activated the um, the fans that shoot you up. Man, that can test the patience. But all in all, still a pretty fun game to play from start to finish. I think the power-ups are really good. I wish we had more use for the hover boots, because you get those at the end, and you can only use it in, like, two or three areas, really. Like, yeah, you use it two times in the airport, and once in Al's Toy Barn. Oh, I did think Al's Toy Barn was pretty good. Um, there's a couple of bits I don't remember. Like Al's Spaceland, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember um, a lot of uh, Al's Penthouse. I don't remember a lot of that level either. So it's been really nice just revisiting this game. Which is so iconic. I love this game to bits. And playing it for the channel now has only reinforced my love for this game. Yeah, I'm so proud of this playthrough. Really, really proud of it. Anyway, um, first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to anybody who has uh, left a like on any of these videos or left a really nice comment on any of these videos. Uh, this has been a really fun series to record, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. If you have watched this playthrough all the way through, then thank you so much. That actually means a lot to me. I love... Um, YouTube playlists. I'm a big fan of going through playlists from start to finish. That's my kind of thing that I want to do on this channel. I don't just want to throw out big videos. I like playlists and thumbnails that have a theme and stuff like that. And, you know, I like doing shorter videos and having lots more videos. I don't know why. That's just the thing I like. But, um, either way, thank you so much for checking out all of these videos or just one or two of these videos. If you've only checked out this one because you wanted to see the last level of this game, then that's absolutely fine as well. 
Um, anyone who supports me at all on this channel, I got lots of love and lots of time for. Thank you so much. Anyone who's left a nice comment, it's been re I've been really, really grateful for that. Um, I'm so passionate about this era of gaming now, like millennial era of gaming, which for me mostly comprises of like the Sega Mega Drive, like the Super Nintendo, um, the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. Those are my, the, the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 and Sega Mega Drive. Those three were my consoles growing up. Like, <clears throat> and that's what my, most of my content here on this channel consists of. And I'm so, pa the more, the older I get and the more I play these older games, the more, I say older games, the more I play these classic games, that's what I'm saying instead, the more I'm sort of becoming passionate about them. I'd love to make my own game. That's something I'm really thinking about doing. I think that'd be super cool. But if you are passionate about this kind of thing and you're a millennial just like me, or if you're a younger guy who used to play these, who have, you know, used to play these games with your parents or something like that, or your parents millennials, jeez, I'm old, um, then you should definitely hit subscribe and click the notification bell on this channel. That's what we exclusively do here. Millennial style video games such as this. PlayStation 2. I've got a GameCube game on here. I've got Super Nintendo. Sega Mega Drive. I've got random stuff in here. Like I played the Grim Fandango at one point. Um, we went through a bit of a name change on the channel. So if you head back and realize it's a different name. Same channel, different name. Um, but yeah, you should definitely hit subscribe. Because that's what I'm doing all the time. That's what I exclusively play on this channel. And yeah, I guess I'm going to think about the next playthrough, whatever that may be. I had an absolute blast with this, and I hope you enjoyed it too. I really do, because this has been a really fun, fun playthrough. What a classic game this is, what an absolute stone-cold classic. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed this series, then please support the channel by hitting the subscribe button, then click the notification bell to stay notified. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps with the growth of the channel a lot. And it just takes a second just to hit the like button. So if you could do that for me, that'd be awesome. But more importantly, remember to always take it easy.